Hey guys, it's hey. Steph and Adam. Okay, and we are your purely oily leaders. And so if you are new to Young Living, that just means that we love oils and that we love to share them with people. And so yeah. we've shared with someone that shared with someone that shared with you probably. And so we're glad that you're part of our oily family. And Welcome. Yeah. yeah. Welcome. And we love to do YouTube videos for our blog at freesplaining.com. So we thought we would do a purely oily video and we're kind of excited about that. Yay! <laughs> We're funny, but we do this late at night, and we're usually tired, so let's see. Count how many times Adam yawns. Okay, that's going to be the first thing you get to do tonight. <sighs> but anyways, these are usually videos that we do nope. after, the, yeah, after, after the, the kids are bed. Babies in bed. And uh, don't judge me for the yawning. Okay, so anyways, so we're going to be it's talking funny. to you a little bit about oils tonight. And we thought one of our first videos would be fun to share our oily story. So basically how we got started with oils were, was we were at a blogging conference in Texas, mm -hmm. Had never even heard of essential oils really before, other than well, we had I guess locally at the food store, but just diffuse them in like or put them in a little incense burner almost. So just thought they were for aromatic purposes, and went to Texas and got to meet Rachel Holland, who is your closest diamond in your oily family, and she has been using oils for she got started about nine years ago, but has really been with Young Living about the last five. So, anyways. And came back and ordered our kit while we were in Texas. And when we came back, it came shortly after we got mm -hmm. back because we were doing the whole like cross country drive yeah. to Memphis <laughs> and Nashville. We won't talk about. We could have used the oils then. Yeah, we could have. But anyways, so we're going to be talking about a bunch of different things. I'll try not to talk too fast. She does. But anyway, so when we came back, our kit came, and we. I didn't even touch it for two months. I was so busy getting with a new baby. My baby was eight weeks old, and. So Adam was really the one that cracked it open first. There's two. Ooh, Anyways, um, so why did you why did you start using them before me though? You know, I just want yeah, I was curious and I wanted to um, well yeah, I wanted to smell them and I want to you know I, when, with names like peace and calming and and stress away, I wanted to try them because you know <laughs> um, stress like ninety percent of the time there's something yeah that, with two small children yeah, there's a lot of stress. I yeah. needed some peace and calm. Okay. All right. Well, that's good. So he, I lent my kit out, to, kit out to my friend Buffy, who's actually in this group. So she'll probably, hopefully, like this um, post. But anyway, so shared it with her. And I then, know why. Oh, sorry. Because our kit came with a diffuser, which diffuses the um, essential oils into the air, like a cool mist. Yeah. And I wanted it to smell it, and I liked it. Okay, you kind of said that before, but anyways, so long story short, I lent her my kit and Adam was coming to me like every day, like, when are you getting that kit back? Are you going to get that kit back? When are you going to get that kit back from Buffy? I didn't so, say it like that. But well, yeah, you did. Get back, get back, get back, get back. Well, not quite like that, but anyway, so we got the kit back and Buffy actually bought her own kit eventually then, and so since then we've shared with many, many people, but, uh, and came back and thought, people are going to think I'm crazy if I talk about essential oils. How can I even explain essential oils to local people? So I went to both my school nurses first, and they both were like, especially Tina Line, who's in this group as well, she like whips out her roll-on. She's like, you mean like these? And so um, if you don't know what roll-ons are, this is a huge one-ounce roll-on, but we'll talk about that in the video tonight too. So she was already doing oils, so was the other school nurse, and I was really behind the times. So I started using them every day, and... We just started using them every day, and we've been using them every single day of our lives mm -hmm. ever since. There has not been a day in the last 365 days or more that we have not used oils in some capacity. How? Um, three. There's number three. How? That was a, a half of one. Okay, two and a half. How do you use them? Okay, well, that's the other thing. We know a lot of you have not been to a class with us in person. So we wanted to talk about mm -hmm. the three different ways to use them. The first one is aromatically in your diffuser. You can also take some oils and just put a little bit in your hand and rub them like this and go like that as well. And you can inhale that way. Um, the ones that are able to be ingested actually say dietary supplement on them. So those can actually be added a lot of times to water or put in a vegetable oil capsule. And you can ingest them that way. And then the third way is topically. And so we recommend using a carrier oil with most oils because um, a carrier oil, basically some essential oils are hot oils. And so on your skin, they might burn a little bit and you want to dilute them. And so your, your carrier oil dilutes your essential oil so that it doesn't burn. And so you definitely want to make sure that you are um, not using... Uh, citrus oils out in the sun because they cause sunburn and you definitely don't want to use um, anything in your eyes or ears never put oils in your eyes or ears and for children we especially would like you to get the book gentle babies by deborah rayburn that has the guide for everything what you was owe. that book again and the author gentle babies by okay. deborah rayburn 
And we can, I should have had it, have it. I don't know why I don't have it sitting here with me, but that's the book that we recommend for people with children. And especially under the age of two, there are strict guidelines, like don't use certain oils like peppermint and eucalyptus, things like that. Um, so we definitely want to make sure that you are using EOs very safely. So anyways, Adam is my like roll on maker all the time, but it's really nice if you can get some one six ounce bottles, they're a little bit tinier. And so my grandma requested the one ounce bottle because she said, as she likes to say, she has a large area to cover for her arthritis. <laughs> but anyways, but so this is a little big, but normally you would just, you know, take your roll on and just, oh, sorry, I'm not in the video and just roll it on like this. Okay. Um, you also have a filament that comes in your kit that you can turn in any glass, any of your bottles into a roll on. And all you have to do is just take your cap and go like this and it pops it right out. And then when you want to put it back in, you just twist it, put it in and then twist it back down. I need, my, I need my safety glasses on. No, I'm not hitting you that bad. So long story short, I mean, you may not also know that there are tons of other Young Living products. This is our other all-time favorite, Thieves Household Cleaner. You use two capfuls of this, which is not very much, to make up a whole bottle of cleaner. You just fill it the rest of the way with water and it I cleans it. Oh, just a plastic spray bottle. Oh, okay. So tell us, tell them how you use it because he's really the one that cleans a lot of the time. I clean, yeah. Um, yeah, I just, I, I, I use two capfuls. Um, in fact, I have to confess that I don't measure with the cap anymore because I know how much yeah. to put in. Um, so I put it in a 98 cent spray bottle from Walmart. Um, and, and what all do you clean with it though? Oh, well, then, well, first, and then I fill it up with water. Sorry. Sorry. I didn't, couldn't get it all out there. Oh, I fill it up with water and I clean. Oh my gosh, uh, you know I did for the first time today. I did our mirror in the bathroom, and it, I thought, oh, you spray oil on the mirror, and it's gonna leave a, a thing, you know, an oily mess. No. Mm -hmm. and it didn't. No, and it, it got sap. Our, it got sap of our, off of our tile one day. The dogs brought in yeah, sap on our and, yeah, in our laundry room. And Tina Line will tell you that she actually used it on her clothing today, like a stain. That's mirror. right. And but I clean toilets. I clean the sink with it. Yeah. I clean, um, you know, mirrors, uh, countertops. Countertops is awesome because you can. It's not like using Clorox wipes or Lysol where you have to actually wipe it off again, clean it off. This you can spray on the countertop, wipe it off, and then I mean, put not, your food on. Yeah, there. not like you're gonna be throwing raw food on your countertop, but I mean. Yeah, it's. I feel like it's. I feel like it's safer to me well, yeah. personally. So that's our other product that we love. There are lots of Thieves products. You can also get Thieves mouthwash, Thieves toothpaste. They're all my favorites. The other thing that I love is this probiotic. And you've seen in the group, if you've been in the group very long, you know I love this product. So that's all I'm going to say about that. You know what product probiotics do. I don't need to go into detail. Also, this is my new favorite. It's the Gentle Cleanser. I just put one foam, one like this. I just, one of those. Squirt. Squirt. Wash my face. I'm good to go. I love the way it smells. So and a couple other things is you can use your oils to make a lot of products that you can replace in your home naturally. This first one that we made at one of our make and takes is a bedtime rub. Totally puts us out at night. Works very well. The second one is the I left. Think, I think I might have got some on me before I started. This is that one. what happened? Okay. That's why I'm All right. Good to know. So also our lavender lavender sugar scrub we made at one of our make and takes. That was another favorite where you just put some essential oils with different ingredients. Three and a half. Ooh, I say four. That was more. There's a couple you missed. I'm oh, sure they, really? got, they got them. Oh, though. they got them? So we're probably up to six or seven by now. Yeah, okay. So anyways, another thing you need to know is with EOs, they must, if you're going to oh, use. you want to tell them about what else we made? What else I made for myself? Oh, beard oil. Adam's um. made beard oil. Beard balm. Sorry, B-A-L-M. And you can make that for your husband as a stocking stuffer if yeah. he has a beard. It actually conditions Co it. Yeah, coconut. It's in a YouTube video. Just all you have to do is go to YouTube. And that's for the oil. Um, I made I made beard oil okay, and a little sorry. dropper, sorry, and then I made beard balm, which is in one of these containers. It's coconut oil, uh, beeswax, and then my essential oils that I put in there. Yeah, and it uh, makes it nice and soft. And Pretty much any time you make any kind of salve, you're going to be using beeswax and essential oil and coconut. coconut oil is what we use for most of ours. Second thing I want to tell you is essential oils cannot be put directly into plastic bottles. You have to use glass bottles. Well, explain Ex about the Well, the Thieves Cleaner is a concentrate that's a little different. You can use that in a, in a plastic bottle. But if you're going to make your own Thieves Cleaner with the actual essential oil, I would put it in here with some water and fill it up to like here. And then from the rest of the way to the top, I'd use witch hazel. So that keeps it. In fact, we made an air freshener at mm -hmm. our make and take. So you fill like maybe I'd say 20 drops of your essential oil on, in a four ounce glass bottle, 
fill it the rest of the way with water and then with hazel to the top and my son was like asphyxiating himself in the bathroom every day with his spray glade and I was walking in I'm like choking on it and I said you cannot use that that is not good for your lungs so now he has a spray bottle he's 10 like he knows under, yeah. this is how, you know this is all he gets so and, he, and these make great little um Gifts uh, and stuff. Well, no, bathroom sprayers too for the. Yeah, they do. Yeah. They actually, there's a product out there, um, not not essential oils, but it's it's called um, something. Who? No, nah, we're not going there. Anyways. Okay, sorry. So the all, other thing you can do is take these mouthwash and put it into something like this with the, some diluted water. You don't have to dilute it very much, but you can just go and use it as like a breath breath freshener, and that's kind of neat. That keeping your pocketbook as well. So Poo-poo-ry. the other thing you can. Would you be quiet? Sorry, anyway, I'm still so, trying to think of what that's called. The other thing you can do with this is you can put your thieves. Um, if you, we also do sell. Uh, Young Living does have a thieves little tiny spray, but if you don't have the time or don't feel like doing that, you can just use one of these. Use some thieves essential oil and some water and some um, witch hazel in here, and then take that with you. And I, when our son was um, at the doctor's office, when I was just spraying, spraying, spraying everything. I spray the trash cans. I spray everything. So, love this. Love to use my Thieves. I actually do have the Thieves cleaner in the little bottle, just to be honest with you. So, and we also have Thieves hand sanitizer. So, there's a lot of products that we use in our home every day. And I also, like, I didn't even show you, like, the, the Protein Complete, or the, um, it's Protein Complete. Yeah, yeah the new Protein Complete powder, chocolate yeah. powder. Love it. I've had it for two months. I don't do the full two scoops every day. I only do, like, a, I do one scoop every day. And so, it's lasted me pretty much two months. We have another Full and I have another full one too, yeah. So again, just some of our favorite products. Wanted you to know how we got started. Dish soap and oh, all the laundry yeah. soap. I'll tell you what. Sorry. I got, Go ahead. I got excited. You did get a little excited. Uh, I used um, the laundry soap today, and I've been having a lot of trouble with uh, my shirts. And, you know, because we dry them inside. We don't have a, a line outside, yeah. so he'll try to dry them inside, and sometimes... Get some done. Okay, my, go ahead. My story. story. I wanted to explain. I know. No, I, I'm a big guy, and I sweat a lot, and I wore a couple of, the, couple of my regular shirts to the gym, too, so then I was sweating a lot there, and it started getting stinky. Anyhow, while I wash them, and then I dry them, and they still smell like mildew. Well, then I use this Thieves um, laundry soap today. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Plus, I can tell what else I put in there. Yeah, I don't know what else. Vin- vinegar. Okay. Sorry, I put vinegar in there. And I washed and dried those today, and I didn't even get a chance to tell you yet, but they smell Do they, Are you amazing. being serious? No, I'm being serious. Okay. The smell's gone. And the other thing, well, that's good to know because a couple of my shirts that you let hang smell the same way. But anyways, the other thing is that um, if Teresa is in, uh, is in our, uh, my friend Teresa is in our group as well, and she and her... Um, husband basically told us how much they love the thieves cleaner uh because it also gets like sometimes their cat like our cat gets fur balls so does their cat and but we don't have any carpeting in our house and she said it even if the cat happened to have a fur ball on carpet it totally hair got ball, out I mean. oh hairball fur ball yeah they cough them up the hairball yeah that's yeah. those kind of things oh, but God, they totally they they said it totally got everything out so and that they had tried other products that didn't work so those are just some tips and things you can use um yeah so wanted you to know about all the other products Wanted you to know who we were. So I'm Steph, and this is uh, Adam. I thought you forgot your name there for a minute. But anyways, and we just really wanted to make sure, especially for our out-of-town oily families, that you can feel connected to us. Please feel free to reach out. Email me anytime. I put my cell phone number in the docs, I think, even for you to call me anytime. We are also able to do customer service for you if you have any issues with anything. We just had several girls this week that the new starter kits, just so you know, are coming with um, the 10 essential oils. And then you actually have to lift that essential oil like component out of the box. And then underneath, you have to like pull a little cream colored ribbon. And then all your the rest of the basic starter Poof, kit is in there. They're there. Yeah, like magic. Woo. But anyways, <laughs> so that's another Oily thing. Magic. Yeah, if you happen to be getting your kit like in the near future, wanted you to know that that is another thing to be make sure that you, you know that you know that it's in the bottom part of that. So anyways, oh and Ninja Red, that's the other thing that we didn't talk about. It's, yeah. it's like a dietary supplement. I drink it every morning. Uh, sometimes I drink it at night. You can do an ounce in the morning, ounce at night, and it just 